Hello, fellow adventurers. Welcome back to Reading Redness Centers, where we embark on exciting journeys to uncover the wonders of the world. Today's expedition takes us deep into the heart of the earth to the tropical climate zone. Are you ready to dive into the warmth and discover the secrets of this incredible region? Let's set forth on this educational quest. As we kick off our tropical adventure, let's take a moment to appreciate the stunning visuals of this vibrant climate. Picture palm-fringed beaches, dense jungles teeming with life, and skies that stretch as far as the eye can see. What is a tropical climate? A tropical climate is a type of climate that is found near the equator, which is the imaginary line around the middle of the earth. It is a hot and humid climate with lots of rain. It is characterized by warm temperatures, high humidity, and abundant rainfall. Tropical climates are typically found between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, which are located at 23.5 degrees north and 23.5 degrees south of the equator, respectively. Why are tropical climates so hot and humid? Tropical climates are hot and humid because they receive a lot of direct sunlight from the sun. The sun's rays are most intense at the equator, and they heat the land and air. The warm air holds a lot of moisture, which is why tropical climates are also humid. Tropical climates receive a lot of rain, typically between 80 and 160 centimeters, 31 to 63 inches per year. The rain is caused by convection, which is the process of warm air rising and cooling. As the air cools, it releases moisture, which falls as rain. There are four main types of tropical climates. Tropical rainforest, tropical monsoon climate, tropical savanna, and tropical desert. Tropical rainforest, tropical rainforests are characterized by their dense vegetation and high rainfall. They are found in areas that receive more than 200 centimeters, 79 inches of rain per year. Tropical monsoon climate, Tropical monsoon climates are characterized by wet and dry seasons. The wet season is caused by monsoons, which are winds that bring heavy rains. The dry season is caused by trade winds, which are winds that blow from the high pressure belts towards the equator. Tropical savanna. Tropical savannas are characterized by their grasslands and scattered trees. They are found in areas that receive between 50 and 150 centimeters, 20 to 59 inches of rain per year. Tropical desert. Tropical deserts are characterized by their hot, dry climate and lack of vegetation. They are found in areas that receive less than 50 centimeters, 20 inches of rain per year. Tropical climates are home to a wide variety of plants and animals. Some of the most common plants include palm trees, ferns, and orchids. Some of the most common animals include monkeys, parrots, and snakes. One of the main challenges of living in a tropical climate is the heat and humidity. This can make it difficult to stay cool and comfortable. Another challenge is the risk of natural disasters, such as hurricanes and floods. How can we protect tropical climates? We can protect tropical climates by reducing deforestation, conserving water, and reducing our carbon footprint. As we continue our exploration, let's turn our attention to the vibrant human communities that thrive in these tropical regions. The people here have adapted to the warm weather and developed unique traditions, dances, and mouth-watering cuisines. And let's not forget the mouth-watering array of exotic fruits like pineapples, bananas, and mangoes. These delicious treats are a testament to the fertile soil and favorable climate of the tropics. As we wrap up this educational expedition, 
I invite you to give us a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed the journey. Share this video with your friends, family, and classmates, and don't forget to subscribe for more thrilling adventures ahead. Until our next exploration, keep curious, keep learning, and keep exploring the amazing world around you.